Uh, this is a battery out of uh, a uh, so-called fat bike, uh, these uh, big moped-like uh, uh, things with huge tyres, uh, which are becoming very popular around here. Uh, they're universally China imports, terrible quality, although I've never seen a well-built one. Uh, and uh, they've been around for two, three years, and uh, now the battery packs are starting to rain in, and uh, I'm sensing an epidemic of these coming on. Uh, because out of all the batteries I've seen, about 10 by now, uh, I've only seen one with quality cells. Yeah, that was also the only one which actually worked properly. Uh, so this one, a uh, customer complained that the device uh, or the moped cuts out. Uh, you'd uh, drive it, it would cut out, uh, they'd disconnect the battery, plug it back in, and then it would work for another few meters, and they'd keep doing that. Uh, supposedly they hadn't done that a lot, and... Uh, they uh, hadn't been using it a lot. It has a few miles. I've seen the actual uh, vehicle, and uh, I'm inclined to believe them. This is not a high mileage battery. Uh, I just started a, a cycle on it, and you can see we already have a cell down at 3.5 amperes, uh, 3.5 volts. Uh, and what I'm noticing with these is that uh, they all suffer from bad cell balance. If we look at the thermal there, you can see uh, that we have one or two uh, strings in the middle which are considerably hotter than the rest. Uh, so we probably have two or maybe even three, maybe even four uh, terrible strings, but really that one string right there in the middle of the screen is uh, the one that's uh, obviously got uh, the highest internal resistance. Uh, and uh, I think that's what we're measuring as well, 3.5 volts. Uh, the other cells, they have higher voltages. I'd say they're about 3.7 volts right now, probably. A uh, total pack voltage of 59.9. Uh, uh, so the cells in this pack are VAT, JDDL, 18650, 7.2 watt hours, BSP, S071H0. Eh, I haven't looked up the data sheet for these, but I'd imagine they're 2.5 2 amperes or so. We actually have a 6 in parallel uh, in this pack, which is unusually good. Uh, they usually have, I've seen 4 in parallel for the same power rating, which is just uh, completely unacceptable. Uh, but uh, this battery is going to fail uh, due to bad cells. I've just balanced charged this pack. Uh, uh, I brought every single cell up individually to 4.2 volts prior to doing this cycle. Uh, so we're not just dealing uh, with uneven cells, uh, we are actually dealing with failed cells, which uh, we can clearly see on the thermal there. That's just, that's just not okay, how we uneven that is. Uh, so I, I brought quite a few of these uh, back from the dead, because they, they do tend to get just uh, uneven cells as well, because uneven self-discharge, and you balance charge them, then they're uh, good to go, almost back to original capacity. Uh, but more and more of them are coming in with uh, just failed cells, usually, because the customers keep pushing them into clipping, uh, and because uh, they charge... When you have a low capacity cell, uh, that cell will also get overcharged uh, when you hook it on the charge and the stupid non-balancing uh, charge circuits uh, just uh, overcharge the weak cell, then they un do a 100% cycle on it, then they overcharge it again, and sooner or later the cell is just going to give up a ghost and get too high an internal resistance to run. Uh, so, looking at this, 3.44 volts, so what? We are not. We're looking at maybe one ampere gone out of this thing, and yeah, one point five. Uh, this thing's gonna uh, probably be scrapped. I don't think uh, it's gonna be able to uh, perform satisfactorily for the customer again. Sadly, so they're gonna have to buy a new one, and uh, this pack is just uh, gonna have to get recycled. It's a damn shame. But <laughs> lots of cells but uh, completely useless for uh, the customer's needs. Uh, they, they need the uh, 16 series uh, configuration to work with, a work with a vehicle, to work with a charger, you know, to work with everything, reconfiguring this or trying to swap out just for bad cells. That's, that's just going to be too much labor uh, and uh, the other cells are in unknown condition. So 
it's just not worth worth working with for the customer, sadly. Uh, but there's going to be a lot of these coming around. Keep your eyes peeled. <laughs> uh, the one good thing that might come out of it is that the hobby people might be able to get them super cheap and recycle the cells. And the downside of that, of course, is that the Chinese are also going to get them super cheap and recycle the cells to make new ones of these with just even worse cell, qu cell quality. Uh, well, there you go. This is probably like a 14 ampere battery or something that's uh, down at something like 3 amperes after maybe 20 cycles and two years of mostly just lying around. Cheerio. Oh, there we go. It died. What did we get? Drum roll, please. 2.2 amp hours. <sighs> 2.2 amp hours, cut out due to low cell voltage. Nothing more to it, most vessels are fine, except for ones that dance.